now we can see the data acquisition system and we can acquire the data using a modules and we can view that in a hardware system also so for that go to a express menu in express in input you can take a dac assist we can keep it dac assist here they it will ask whether you have to acquire a signal or you have to generate a signal now we are going to generate a signal in our lab view and we are going to see that in a dso okay generate signal so we are using a module analog output module there the voltage is the output so i'm choosing voltage and which channel we have to use we can use i'm using a a0 channel and click finish so here it will be asking with how many samples you need i am giving a continuous samples i need it and giving okay so the dac assist will be created based upon our requirement it is building a vi yes it is asking whether you need to run this dac assist on a loop so i'm giving yes because i have to run it on a loop so that only i'll be getting a continuous loop so this stop we can take it out and we can create a separate control to it so now we can generate our waveform we have to generate so go to a signal generation take a basic function generator in basic function generator we can add a inputs which we need so create a control what all inputs we need so frequency and for amplitude one control and signal type also we can choose it like that you can choose every single so here the square wave duty cycles also you can take it and create a control and here is a signal output the signal out will be going to a dac assist we will be giving a input to a dac assist so from there we can take a analog output dac assist so we can view the waveform in our lab view also so you can uh, take a waveform chart or graph and we can connect to this output so now i can run it continuously this is a sine wave so i am getting a sine wave if i am decreasing my frequency i will be viewing the waveform as viewable one and uh, now i am changing my signal type now it is sawtooth from a sine wave to sawtooth i got it and now a square wave yes and now a triangular wave and again a sine wave like that we can perform here the signal type we can here in a properties we can choose which function it has to perform in the first thing next which is and we can choose the data type based upon it now to view the generated signal in a hardware setup we have connected a dac system to the system and we have connected four modules here this one is avo modules analog output module that is to generate a signal so now we have generated a signal so which we have generated we are going to view that in a dso this is a ai module this is a universal module so this is used for acquiring a signal like that digital input and digital output we have been using so now we are using the avo module avo module 
9263 is the number so here if you see you will be having 1 2 3 like that you will be having a number here we have connected to the channel 0 and the second pill will be the com so we have connected to channel 0 and the com and we have connected that to a positive of a probe and the neg uh, com to the negative of the probe and connected to a it has been connected to the DSO. So now we are seeing the output in a DSO. So now here in a lab view, I have given a sawtooth waveform. So we are viewing the sawtooth waveform. So now I am varying the waveform in my lab view and I have given a square wave. So now we will get a square wave in my DSO. So this is how we are acquiring the signal. This is analog signal we have acquired through this. We are going to see how to acquire a digital signal, uh, how to acquire a digital signal, and also how to generate a digital signal. So for that, we have to take a DAC assist again because we have connected the hardware DAC assist to our system. Input DAC assist. Here we have to first generate the digital signal. So for that, generate signal, then go to digital output. Here we have to choose the line output line output choose port 0 line 0 finish so you will be asked what generation mode we need you can choose the uh, one generate one sample on demand and give ok so now we have to create a control for this to generate a signal then we have to acquire a digital signal which we have generated in here so we have to take a one more DAC assist acquire signal digital input line input port 0 line 0 here also one sample on demand because we are going to give only one digital input now we have to create a indicator for this create indicator we have to put this in a loop so go to a structures while loop put all things inside the loop stop control we are giving and now we can run the program so when i am giving a input here i am running i will get the output here so we have generated a digital signal here and we also acquired a signal in a hardware setup thank you now we are uh, looking into a hardware setup to see the digital output which we got in the lab view setup for that we have connected the digital output and digital input modules port 0 because we have uh, choose the port 0 in our uh, lab view setup so we have connected port 0 together and com network together we have to give a external supply so we are giving 12 volt supply to a v sub voltage supply of an uh, do pin and com so while uh, we are giving the input in the lab view we will get the output in a lab view and also in a hardware setup now i have given a uh, input so we are getting a output a led glowing in a both di and do now i am uh, not giving any signal here i have stopped the circuit if i am stopping the circuit the led is off now again i'm giving a circuit input i'm getting input now it is off 